What's up guys? Welcome back to my second video in this Eleanor build series, the one to eight scale Mustang from the movie Gone in 60 Seconds. Last time we did parts one and two, I just got a new shipment today and I got the next four parts. So we're gonna do three, four, five and six. So let's go ahead and get started. Right guys, so we're gonna get going with parts three, four, five, and six. As a reminder, I said last week, um, you get two parts initially, and then from there on in, you get four parts every 21 days sent to you. So this is my first kind of real pack of four parts. So I'm gonna go through real quickly what we've got going on, and then we'll go down to the bench and kind of get working on this. So number three is gonna be the engine block, and we've got some headers and filter and stuff. Now, this is a weak part of the kit, um, we'll talk about in a minute about this. Um, might be some replacements going. So we'll talk about this in a minute, but that's part three. And four, we get a big piece, we get the hood. So you get an idea of the size of this guy. And um, we took some, some grills at the front we worked on last week, last part two. And five, looks like we have a front seat to make. And six, looks like some um, brake discs and calipers. Maybe not. Mm, yeah. So there you go. So again, pretty plain. Um, I'm going to put these together, but um, once I get all this put, all the more parts, I might think about maybe painting some of this stuff up and weathering it and stuff. But um, for now, we'll just go ahead and just assemble it as is. But actually, part six. Um, also, we got with this one, we got a binder to keep these um, you know, little booklets in that you get every time. So we've got a little binder. Um, again, with the Eleanor on the front. And we've got the magazine. So, um, yeah, I'll show the magazine in a minute, but basically it has the instructions and then a little bit about the movie in the background and some cars and stuff. One thing to note, last time I struggled. <laughs> I don't think I'm really that, that inept. I think it's just really the fact to try and do it on camera. Um, and it just makes things a little bit more complicated. But my, the screwdriver kit, I had all kinds of struggles with. My one I bought, the precision one, I um, wasn't magnetized, so I went to Amazon, I got myself a little magnetizer, demagnetizer for a screwdriver, so you just run it through and it magnetizes it. So this was like $6 if that, um, real, it came in two days of Prime, it's real easy, I mean now I can actually pick the screws up with the, um, the screwdriver, it works perfectly. So all the links to what I'm using is down below, um, I did get an affiliate program with Eleanor, um, so again I'm paying for this out of my own pocket, but if you want to help the channel out and you think about ordering this, if you click on the link below, it'll just give me a little kickback um, if anybody buys it, um, that's all. And then links to all the tools and stuff are below too in this video. Just a reminder for any metal screws, we're going to use 3 in one oil, this stuff. And um, just a little bit for any help, those metal screws go into metal. So metal to metal, we use a little bit of um, that oil to help lubricate it and stuff. Um, but that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to switch the camera down to the bench. Um, we'll look at the magazine and then we'll get going on step number three. Alrighty, so let's go through the, um, the little booklet here. Again, I'm pretty sure I've got a website. You can probably pull this up and look at the instructions and stuff online. Um, but so again, we're pack number two. So we're going to do sections um, three, four, five, and six. So flicking through here, looks like we start... Um, some shots, some photographs, uh, we get to the instructions. Let's go flip through this real quick. Um, number four looks like working on the um, the hood, and some electrics and some grills and some spotlights and stuff. Driver seat in number five. Brake disc and caliper on number six. And the wheel we did last time around we're going to add that to the wheel we already built then we got some um, information about the um, beginning of Eleanor remaking a classic just more information about the movie I guess each one has a name this is Tanya Porsche Megan And a 64 Mustang in the back, classic Mustangs, some information and stuff about it. So it also tells me what's coming up next next time. So next time in 21 days, it looks like I can get another wheel, um, another caliper and disc, and looks like a driver door, possibly, or maybe a passenger door. And that's it. So that's a magazine. Um, so we can go ahead and get started with step number three. So um, let me kind of clear this away and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so we got this pack right here. Um, 
get ready to go get started. Now, this is a one bit of the kit, but really kind of a price lets it down. Um, these cylinder head covers and the air filter don't look very good. They're not completely accurate. So there's a few things we can do about this. Um, you can either go as is, or if you go to Facebook groups um, who are building it, just type in Eleanor in Facebook groups, you'll find there's several com um, on there, and there's people out there 3D printing replacement parts. Or you can maybe do what I can do, what I did, and Diagostini Model Space released a GT500 in the same scale Mustang a couple of years ago, and pack number three contained these these parts, and they're much better, more accurate, and more better looking, and they actually will fit on this. So I managed to source part number three. Um, so later on the build, I will replace these. Um, if not, hopefully, um, Mod Eagle Moss, sorry, will um, just see the error of the ways and bring out replacement parts later on the build series, hopefully. Um, the, that, that number three, I ordered um, the part number three from the GT500 build. I can only get it in England, so it's almost shipped it to my sister's house and then she'll fold it onto me here in the US. Um, so it'll take a few weeks to get that. But for now, we'll just build it as is. Um, so this is the intake manifold cover and this is solid metal. Um, this is pretty heavy. And um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, uh, make sure we've got the right side. And yep, so this side, and we're going to take this guy right here, and he sits on like that. And we're just going to screw that in um, using some DS2 screws. So hopefully this goes better. My screwing goes better than last time around because that was a complete little nightmare. But all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip a, again dip a little bit of oil because we've got metal and metal, and then I'm just going to screw this um, piece into place. Okay, a million times better than last time around. I think the screwdriver makes a huge difference. I'm not gonna go crazy tight on these because like I said, I wanna replace them probably in the future. So just kind of just, just do it a little bit, just kind of hold it in place. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same on the other side. Get out of the box. Again, this is all metal. screw DS2 again D D means die cast so it's metal and if you got anything with um, PS means it's plastic okay I'm not again I'm not going to super tighten all this stuff because um, I'll probably take it off in the future So that's like that. Um, so again, these aren't completely accurate. That's the issue with this one. Um, so these guys are on. Next up, we can get the oil filter cap, which is this guy right here. And this should just be simple push fit into here. Actually, it's shaped so it goes a certain way. Like that. Turning page, we're now gonna work on the air filter. So it looks like we need to get these parts out. And basically what's gonna happen is the top side here, we're basically just gonna run this kind of mesh around the, the gap here. So I'm just gonna carefully kind of bend it, almost like a photo etch. But it goes in pretty good. Just following it around and hopefully it fits. You know what I should have done too? I, I should not start on the bend, but oh well. Maybe just take it out and do it. Oh, let's do it on straight where it joins. It'll be a little easier, I think. Again, sorry, you can't really see much. My fingers are running away, but let me get this in. side on there we go just make sure it's in I think 
get this out. Actually, it's the other way around. The top bit goes in the. There we go. So this goes like. My bad. So this taller bit lug. Sorry, it goes goes towards the front. So Ellen is at the back. I'm just gonna go this way around. There we go. Okay, this time we're going to use the PSO5, so we use plastic screws. Just going to screw a little bit in first, get them both in, then I'll go and tighten them up. So I don't stress the plastic. Cool. Now I'm noticing there, look, there's little markings on there where it's like cut from the plastic or whatever. But again, I'm going to replace this, so it's not a huge deal. But okay, so that bit's done. And then we're going to then attach it to the. It goes like, go this way around. And it goes on like that. Again, we're going to use the PSO5s. This is one of those things where you kind of need free hands and makes it a little easier, especially if you're kind of filming it as well. Okay, get that guy in. Yeah, I want to go super tight with all this stuff because I'm going to replace it um, probably later. So I'll just hold it in place. Is it like that? Very cool. Oh, you know what? I'm in, I've got to put the carburetors on. The carburetors should go on first, and then you do that. So my bad. So let me um, take this guy off. <laughs> I was just looking at it. I'm wondering what's going on here. Okay. So take these guys off, no big deal. Get these carburetors. See which way they go, and they just sit on, I guess, like this. They go a certain way? I don't think so. Okay, you just kind of push on and click on. Then we'll come back and do, so it's Eleanor that way around. Screw it back in again. And there you go, that's step three completed. So that's the um, air filter carburetor and cylinder head. Step number three. All right, on to part number four. So here's as you can see the idea of how beautiful this guy is going to be and how big. You don't need this right now. I'm just going to take it out and show you. Again, solid metal. See how big it is. Nicely painted. So I'm going to keep this in this box, and I'm going to store it like this until we need it in a, who knows, month's time, whatever. So it can only get scratched up. So I'm leaving this little box right here. Um, so I pulled out this guy we did last time around the front here in part number one and then we're going to add um, a few more the grills and a few other parts. So I'm just going to put this to the side so it's not in my way. Let me kind of show you where we're at here. So we have the, the grill here. We've got a couple spotlights going on and some wires and then another little bit of grill going on pretty much and that's be step four. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Big guy up. This one's actually plastic, not metal. And I'm just kind of looking at the instructions here. It looks like it goes. And this gap right here. Let's bend it a little bit to fit. Okay. And screw wise, we're going to need the DSO3, so metal screws. 
two of these guys, and this screwdriver is working really good. A little bit of oil. Good enough, I don't again over tighten these guys. So that's in like that. And then now we've got part of the spotlights. And he's going with DS2. So you kind of go in for like that. DS2 and these lights do work too, these have wires and LEDs in these ones Okay, awesome. So that's in. Turn the page. Did that one already? Then we got the wires, like one and two. So we're going to need number two first, and it looks like they go on the right side and one's going to go on the left side, so see how these are all tied up. Okay, I'm just kind of looking at this, how they go in. I think it just pushes in. Like that. Like that. And then we're going to take care of the wires in a minute, like one way to go. And then we're going to put one on the left side. And just pushing it in. Okay. Okay, the wires around going around the pillars here and kind of bend them over. I thought you could, I just stopped and checked because if you can fit through the gap here and you can't, so I'm not sure. You think you would because now they're gonna give God bend this grill over it a little bit. So put this grill over it top here. Um it's a little bit bent over these wires, but we're gonna screw it in and we're gonna use the DSO2. Are in. Okay, and that's that step completed. So if we look around here, 
oh, I keep touching it, so I'm gonna break it. Um, you see this, you can't see any wires, which is awesome, and that's the front end, which is looking super awesome too. So that's step number four. Um, now we're gonna go on step number five. Oh, so just again, we're not gonna use this right now, that you save this for later. So keep it, in the, keep it in the box so it's nice and safe, and we'll get to it a little bit later on. So yeah, step four done. I'll get stuff cleared away and bring it in step five. All right, so step number five is pretty um, an easy one. It's just a backrest for the seat. So three parts here and a couple of screws. Um, what I do, as soon as I open these packs, I immediately put the screws in my little box right here so I'm you know, marked up so I don't lose them. So I put PSO5 we're gonna use, so I put them in the PSO5 slot here. Um, so these are plastic, um, well, kind of rubbery plastic. I know it's the, um, the Cobra by Gora is a nice kind of like like material one, but this is um, definitely kind of plasticky, but I think it looks okay. So what we're gonna do basically is we're just gonna add the, um, take the back part, add this kind of in the middle, the frame. It kind of clicks into place. And we're gonna use two PSO5 screws. One in the top left corner. One in the bottom right. Wait, yeah, in here. And it wants us to put it in the other two corners. So I'm gonna go top right. And this just, just clips on. So front part of the seat. And there it is. Um, so that's step five completed. So that's an easier step. So you can see the seat looking pretty good. And there you go. So that's step number five. All right, so now we're on to step six. So basically we're just gonna add the, um, the brake disc and the caliper um, and this kind of, um, what is it, the left suspension knuckle onto the wheel we did last time. Now, these are plastic, they're pretty plain looking. There's a guy again on the Facebook groups, um, I think he's in Russia, who used to make some beautiful um, metal ones which fit this perfectly. I think it's like $43 plus shipping. So not super cheap, but if you want to upgrade, there's definitely a way to upgrade these. Also, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna paint these too. For now, I'll just put them on as is. Later on, I might take them off and paint them red or some other color once I have all four of them. But for now, we'll just go ahead and assemble, put the instructions. So, looks like we're getting the suspension knuckle right here, and it goes through this guy, and you've got a couple of holes you have to kind of line up, I guess. Like that, so it clicks. Then you're gonna add this bit to the back. Then it looks like the caliper clicks into this guy right there. Then you've got a, a, a bit sticking up here and a, a gap right here. So you can kind of line it up, I guess. So I'm just gonna line this up. Okay, so it kind of pushes in. And what is DSO4 screw? DSO4? Yeah. Do super tight again because and then there's your wheel Oop, spinning out my hand and then finally this guy just clips onto the front here like so and that's it that's part number six and that completes um today's kind of parts i guess that we've gone through all four parts so let me kind of switch the camera back to me and we'll finish up so there you go that's that that stage done whatever you want to call it part stage 
Um, yeah, so it's important to keep, I'm gonna keep these in the boxes, like this box here, you know, so keep it nice and safe, and I'll scratch all the, this up, the hood and stuff. But you can see what idea we're getting on, we're gonna build it nicely. And the importance too is me mentioning about having um, those plastic containers in part one. I bought, went to Dollar Store and bought a bunch of Tupperwares, and just laying these blankets in, and then, if you can see, we've got all these different parts, like, loose now for another 21 days, and you just don't want them lying around and getting beaten up, so you definitely want to put them away somewhere safe, and keep this stuff all nice. So, the front end's looking really good. I just don't understand why you can thread the wires through the gap here, why it's a bit bigger, because it's where I'm putting underneath the grill. It makes no sense, but anyway, you can't see them looking good. So these two and those two are gonna light up eventually. We got the wheel. Um, as I mentioned, you might wanna go look online and get some maybe replacement um, discs. There's some really nice ones, and then I'll probably paint the caliper too, just make it pop a little bit, because it's just all kind of blends in the white right now. So that's something I'll take care of later once I have all four wheels done. Um, but that's the wheel, one wheel done. Again, you get an idea of a size on this guy. Um, seat back, nothing really to talk about there, <laughs> just just a seat back. And this guy, which is the other kind of elephant in the room. So, yeah, apparently, yeah, these, um, the air filter and the two head covers are just completely wrong. I'm not a Mustang expert, so I wouldn't know. But again, there's ways around it. You can get 3D printed ones, or you can get, if you want to change it, that is. Or you can go and try to source um, part three of the Diagostini, 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 I can't even say it now. The model space <laughs> GT500 build, get part number three and get replacement parts, um, Shelby ones, which look a little better, I think. But nevertheless, you can get an idea of the size of this guy. Um, no problems at all, really. Um, that new, new screwdriver, way better than a kit one you get in part number one. It's a lot easier to screw the stuff in. Um, so that's pretty much it for now. So hope you enjoyed that one. I'll be back in 21 more days-ish, depending on the next part. So, um, the next section doesn't look that exciting, to be honest with you. I showed you what it is. It's, um, look at the instructions real quick one more time. Looks like I've got another wheel and a door. Neck next. But anyway, I'll be back with the next one. In the meantime, um, check out all my other videos, all my usual aircraft builds, that kind of stuff, and reviews. And I'll see you next time.